Hello everyone and uh, welcome to our next video where we're going to carry on with the uh, templates and what we're going to discuss here is the basic formatting. So previously what we talked about was the transclusion which is what templates do. Templates are the pages um, and you transclude that information. And the way we did this is we just took the uh, the pages name, we used a couple of curly brackets and put a colon there. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to change these pages to templates because this gives us far more functionality. You can transclude this way, but we'd recommend that you use templates from now on and we'll explain why. Um, so if we change those pages to templates, so you, you just literally create template and the name of the page the next way you, that you call that page is all you need to do is double curly brackets and the name of that template you don't need to put template in front you just call that page and uh, that's just called through now we'll go and demonstrate that and then we'll also show you some other features that we need to think about in terms of the formatting of templates so here we are on the uh, templates tutorial page and I've created three new pages. So the templates uh, logo page, template description and the about um, SMW template. And if we just go to the template logo page, you'll see that this is the template page. Um, what I should just say here, just in case you're a little bit confused and think the screen is not working, it, the, the, uh, the sandbox defaults to French. So um, uh, the beauty is you get a French lesson at the same time, so it's not all bad news. So let's just have a look. This should, this again will just be the file. And that's the name of the template. Now, to call it, if we wanted the about, if you remember this was the description and also the about, and the, uh, the description we've also turned to a template. So, again, Double curly brackets, SMW description, and SMW logo page. Save changes. And hey presto, both of those come up. So nothing's changed there. Obviously, what we've what we've done is we've changed those pages to templates and uh, and that makes it that make that means you don't need to put that colon in front. Um, and there are further. We'll show you the further features that templates give you. So th from now on, this would be the way I would transclude um, pages. Now, the other thing that you may want to do, if you let's say on the logo page, you've got your logo page, but you may want to have further information about this logo. So let's just let's just create an example. So you could say date created 2018 and, you know, by graphics, graphics department. OK, and we save that page. Excellent. So it saved that change. However, if we go back to the about page now and we refresh this page, so that took a little bit of time to come through, but as you can see, what's happened is you've got the date create, I might create it of course, and I can go back and change that, uh, date created 2018 and by the graphics department. Now the problem is you may not want that bit of information actually being transcluded. So what we're going to talk about now is how you decide what parts of the template you want to be transcluded and what parts you don't. So I'll just go over to the presentation to show you what I mean. So as you can see, we added this date created. Look, I remember the D now, but that's good. Um, and that's transcluded onto that page and transcluded on that page. And as I was saying, you may not want that. You may have just wanted the logo, logo to be actually transcluded, but you also may have wanted further information about the template. And the way we do this is by various prefixes. So the first one, and it's worth knowing these because sometimes you'll come to a template page and you'll 
you'll not necessarily see the whole template or you'll not see what's being transcluded. So if you go into the edit function and 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 and, and see these see these tags you'll understand you'll understand what they're doing and what's going on so i've just represented the edit page of the template and the read page of the template so that's what you see when you're when you come to the template page that's what you see when you're in the code and this is the page that's being uh, that, that the logo is being transcluded on so as you can see no include allows you to give that detail so it could be the what when it's created who by and so on keeps on that page so you have the information about that template you can see that on the read page, but it's only the uh, it's only the logo that's transcluded. The other tag is only include, and you wrap that around what you only want to be transcluded. So again, everything is visible, and it just selects. So whereas the previous one selected what you don't transclude, this this selects only include selects what is transcluded. And finally, there is include only. So it provides the details. It doesn't show you on the template what's going to be transcluded. And you'll see that a lot in Semantic Media Wiki with some of the templates. So it's very important that you, you understand what these, what these tags mean and so on. What I should also mention is if you're not aware, any of these tags you'll see in that there's going to be plenty of them. Um, it's either side so so whatever it is it so it's include only and that slash means it closes so it's only everything inside that area that is affected affected by this so when you see it in future in future media media wiki markup language you'll understand um, that that's the start of it and that's the end of it Hopefully that's given you more of an understanding of templates, how they can be transcluded and how you can pick what can be what is transcluded and what isn't transcluded. What I'd strongly recommend now is that you um, start experimenting yourself and teaching yourself and, and make those mistakes. The best way of learning is making mistakes, trying it out and, and seeing what works. So we're going to go into more and more detail of templates. I'd, as I said, I'd really recommend you uh, you start to really understand them, understand how they work, because you'll be in a far better position when we get onto Semantic Media Wiki and we're using these all the time. Thank you very much for listening.